How to add subtitles in the Splice mobile editing app on an iPhone. In our Splice editing demo, we covered the full walkthrough of how to edit in the Splice mobile app on a smartphone. In the comments, we had a question from Maria CMG asking how to add subtitles in this app and if it's harder than other apps like iMovie. The quick answer is yes, I think iMovie has made it slightly more intuitive and easier to use but in essence, they work in almost exactly the same way. In a mobile editing app, the text belongs to the clip. If I have five clips in my timeline and I add text to the third clip, it will be visible for only the duration of this clip. Let me show you how to add text to a clip in Splice. When your project is open, select the clip you would like to add a subtitle to. On the bottom, on this little menu, select this icon here. Now you will have a whole range of fonts that you can choose from. Select the one you want and start typing. Select done and move the text into the position you would like it. You can also change the color if you would like. You're done. You will need to copy this process on each clip that you would like to add the subtitle to. If you only want the text for part of the clip, you will need to split this clip into parts and then add the text to the new clip. On a computer and some mobile apps, the editing software allows for layers. What this means is that the text is added above the timeline as its own entity. You can then freely choose where to place it and this makes it a lot easier when working with subtitles. If you are going to work with lots of text, then I suggest you rather learn how to edit your phone footage on a computer. Or you can also upload your video to YouTube with our titles and add them in there later. I hope this helps answer your question. Please let me know if any of you have more questions on this topic, or if you'd like to see how to do this process in iMovie, on a desktop, or YouTube for that matter. We're happy to guide you. If you haven't watched the Splice editing demo yet, the end screen now will take you there. And remember, this is an extract from our smartphone video course. So if you'd like to learn more about mobile phone video, check it out. Link in the description below. Cheers guys.